Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala uh, reports that Allah's Messenger sallallahu would indeed converse casually with us. The better translation is he would mix with us and he would interact with us. I mean, the Prophet sallallahu was not a man that simply was in the masjid holding a mic. The Prophet sallallahu interacted with people, dealt with their realities, visited them in their villages, visited them in their homes, would go to all of the places. There's over 52 spots in Medina where the Prophet sallallahu prayed in different areas, alayhi salatu wasalam, to show you how much he was very much part and parcel of the society. He would visit the Jewish community every single Saturday that we know of, he would pray in Masjid Quba. Why, why Quba? It was the area where the Jews lived. And why Saturday? Because it was Sabbath. They would be on their front porches and they would see the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, Kana yukhalituna. He would be somebody that interacts and mixes with us. And uh, to the extent that he once said to one of my younger brothers, whose name was Abu Umair, Abu Umair was the son of uh, uh, Abu Talha al-Ansari and Umm Sulaim. They have a very beautiful story we can't, of course, get into, but they had this child. And this was one of the most beloved children to Abu Talha and uh, Umm Sulaim. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ saw him while he was walking with Sahaba that he had he had his, this bird that died. And I want you to imagine somebody who's so busy in life, somebody who wants to take care of the Ummah, the empire and politics, and there's people attacking and so on and so forth. And the Prophet says, him stops all of that because he sees the face of a child. And that stopped him. The sadness of a child. He went and he left Abu Bakr. He left all of those around. He went to him and he said to him, what happened to your birdie, O Abu Umair? In a beautiful poetic way. Ya Aba Umair, which is the same wording as the sparrow. Ma fa'ala nughir. What happened to your little birdie? Consoling him. And the idea is listening to him. And, and, and hearing out of this child have the sorrow and, and, and speak out about it. SubhanAllah, you know what happened? This child actually passed away. Abu Umayr passed away. And there's a beautiful story of how Abu Talha and Umm Sulaim dealt with that I want you to look into. But the notion was is that when the child passed away, Abu Talha was very sad. He was one of the most beloved. This was his first son. And Umm Sulaim said to her uh, husband when she told him the news that what would you say? If Allah gave you if gave you a gift and then He wants it back, what would you say if somebody gave you a loan and took it back? And He said it would, that's their right to take back. So she said that Allah has given you a son and taken him back. And He said Inna lillahi wa Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, Subhanahu wa Taala gave them solace and comfort, but the pain was strong. When they went to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seeking solace and comfort, Subhanallah over this lost child, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam consoled. He said to them, May Allah bless you in your night. And may Allah bless you in your family. They had nine children after that. All of them became the Hufad of the Qur'an. And among them were some of the scholars of Medina from their own children. This is how much the Prophet loved families and cared about them.